it's understandable. I mean, I'm coming off surgery, and uh, you know, I, obviously, I think uh, you won't really get a contract extension while you're injured. So, <laughs> um, but for me, it's just something. I, my focus right now is just getting healthy and uh, you know coming back and being ready to go by training camp and just uh, have another strong year and whatever happens after. What do you think of the draft? What they did with Spriggs and the high draft pick and obviously Murphy later on. And is that telling too that they you start seeing that? that there's <laughs> well, I think that was more common than uh, the previous couple years. I mean, it seems like every year they were, you know, we had at least one or two new guys in the room. And then last year, I don't think we had anybody uh, besides a couple of free agent guys. So it's kind of back to the norm almost. So I think uh, uh, it's something that uh, you know, Mr. Thompson is. He loves bringing in a big body. So, um, but it's it's exciting. We get some new guys in. Um, I think it was pretty evident last year when we had some uh, injuries out of tackle that uh, we struggled a little bit at that position when you know, when our starters went down. Uh, so yeah, hopefully we get we get these guys in. Uh, I haven't met the Murphy kid yet, but uh, Spriggs looks like he's a he's a heck of an athlete and he's catching on mentally. And, and it's it's something you like to see. He looks like he's getting better every day. So hopefully there are a couple guys that can come in and just uh, just help us. Yeah, I mean it's uh, I don't think there's an exact science to, to drafting linemen. I mean you see it every year where uh, top round guys kind of fade out and your bottom round guys, free agent type guys played 10, 11, 12 years in this league. So I don't think there's an exact science. You just got to, you know, the biggest thing, I think you just got to find guys that are athletic enough and smart enough to handle the, uh, the stress of this job. And, and uh, you know, I think we've got a pretty big uh, pretty big group that uh, you know, is, is capable of doing that. So, um, you know, it's, it's, uh, I wasn't surprised when we drafted a couple guys. I mean, you know, we're always looking to improve ourselves. So, uh, it is hard to find those guys, but you know, I think just like I said, I, you know, I haven't seen Murphy play yet, but just watching Spriggs and he's a guy who looks like he's coming up. And uh, you know, he, you can tell that he he wants to learn, he wants to get better. He's always asking Brian questions, Dave questions, uh, Josh quite you know, myself quite. He's always always in our ear about something that he can he can do better. Uh, physically, you look at him, and, and he's he's got the athletic skill to, uh, to be successful. He, he just you know, he needs to continue to keep improving. He's he's been a great addition to the room. All those guys have, um, and I feel like we've got a really really uh, talented group of rookies. Who is that? Sorry, Spriggs. Oh, Spriggs. I, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean we're going to need those guys at, at some point. Um, don't know if it'll be this season, next season, whatever. But you know, we're going to need those guys to to go out there and perform for us. And it's something that I think everybody here was brought into the same type of environment. I mean, when I came in, I had uh, Chad Clifton, Mark Tauscher, Scott Wills was a vet. Um, those were those were. You know, I mean, it doesn't seem that long ago, but uh, those were guys who they were very welcoming to the young guys. And it's kind of something that when you're coming out of college, you hear all these stories about. Vets not wanting to help the guys because you know you don't want them to take take your job. But uh, I was I was shocked at how, how completely opposite it was uh, with, with just the help that those guys were giving me and the, and the tips and advice. And it's something that you know I, myself now being in my eighth year, something that you kind of learn to, to pass down to the to the next generation. So um, I mean we're we're a very tight uh, tight group of guys in that room. We we help each other. We give advice. Uh, you know, it's not a room for, for thin skin, but um, you know, we definitely uh, we definitely care very much about each other, and that that really includes uh, the rookies because we're going to need them at some point to help us go out and win some games. So did Jason answer your tweet then? What did you want? Like donuts on Friday morning? Or? <laughs> no, I, I was messing with him. He said something about it. We just kind of laughed it off. But yeah, that's uh, that's just kind of my personality. I was joking with guys. So. Um,